Pull yourself up a chair and let's talk about the differences in the versions of Magento and the cost associated with each. Magento's offerings can be pretty confusing to those that are new to it. I'm confused. Let's start with some definitions to make sure we're all on the same page. Magento comes in two flavors, Magento Open Source and Magento Commerce, with Magento Commerce having a couple of variations in Magento Commerce Cloud and Magento Commerce On-Prem. What tends to get confusing is that Magento is technically open source regardless of the version you choose, despite only one version literally being labeled open source. And just to add to the confusion, the open source version is obviously still a commerce engine, even though it's not Magento Commerce. So who knows what they were thinking with the names. What the hell were you thinking? The biggest distinction is that Magento Open Source is a free to download application. You can go right now and download the source code and it won't cost you a dime for the software. But don't let that fool you though. It's still an enterprise grade e-commerce platform and there will be plenty of costs for us to go over shortly. Stay tuned for that. Magento Open Source is the foundation on which they build Magento Commerce. So they start with open source and they add functionality to it. That means that Magento Open Source has zero functionality advantages over Magento Commerce. You're always going to get less with Magento Open Source out of the box. Magento Commerce is the more advanced enterprise version of the platform. As a result, it comes with some additional features that you won't find in Magento Open Source. Some of the highlights include a more robust content management system with content staging, artificial intelligence driven cross sales, more advanced promotional capabilities, and advanced B2B functionality like negotiated pricing, individualized catalogs, corporate based account management, and a quoting system. With either version of Magento Commerce that you go with, you'll have all the same functionality. The difference between Commerce Cloud and On-Prem is actually in the hosting. Magento Commerce Cloud comes with cloud hosting from Adobe, albeit via some partnerships in the hosting space. Magento Commerce Cloud is what the industry will call a pass or platform as a service because it includes the software and the hosting. It's the version that Adobe really wants you to choose because it's cool to be a cloud company. It helps their bottom line and it improves their stock prices. Six cents a share? Oh, come on. Buys this crap. But it's not right for everyone. Maybe you're in an industry where public sentiment and government regulations are always changing. Or perhaps you just want more control over your hosting stack. In that case, you'll want to choose Magento Commerce On-Prem, which is short for On-Premises. With On-Prem, you get access to the Magento Commerce code base, but it's on you to find your own hosting setup. Just to be clear, don't go trying to host this thing just anywhere. Always use a Magento specialist host. Magento is its own animal and you need a host that understands it. If you need suggestions on hosting companies we use and trust, just shoot me a message and I'll be happy to introduce you. Let me introduce you to my friends. Now that you're familiar with the variations of the platform, let's look at the cost. I'm not gonna get into the third party services costs like email marketing automation in this video because those are fairly independent of the platform you choose. What we are focused on are the costs of making that Magento decision. Just note that your business may have additional costs outside of the platform itself. There are four primary cost centers when it comes to a Magento website that you need to understand and compare. The software license, third party modules or themes, development including maintenance, and then hosting. The exact cost on these will vary depending on your business size and your choices. So if you're expecting an absolute price, then you're just setting yourself up for disappointment. Now I can see all of you jumping off this video right here in my stats. Wait a minute, hold up! What I can give you though, is a generalized breakdown of what the costs look like and where that differs across the various platform versions. If you wanna know exactly what the costs look like for you, there's a link in the description to contact me. Just shoot me an email and we can discuss it. Let's start with the costs that are barely a drop in the bucket when it comes to a Magento implementation, and that's modules and themes. Magento ships with the Luma theme, and a lot of Magento builds either start with that or a blank theme to build a custom look and theme. However, if you're looking to cut the budget, then there are some third-party themes that start at $30 or $40 and go up to about 500 bucks or so for Magento open source. Most of them just double the price for Magento Commerce because you obviously have the money. Well, that's because I'm rich. Most of the time, 
you'll want to customize your Magento design regardless of whether you buy a theme or not. Honestly, if you aren't customizing the design of your site, I'm not sure you're choosing the right e-commerce platform, but that's a different discussion. And customizing things brings us to the development costs. Most US-based agencies are expensive because Magento developers are expensive and in very high demand. I'd say all of them are going to be over $100 an hour unless they're using offshore development, and some of the larger agencies can be up to twice that rate. Rates matter, of course, but the important thing is what the project actually ends up costing and then the cost to maintain it. If people charge more, theoretically they should be more efficient. There are some smaller agencies that have starter plans that usually begin around $20,000 to $30,000 to get you going with no custom design or functionality. Realistically, moderately customized Magento builds with a US-based agency is going to start somewhere around $50,000 and rise steeply as you add complexity. Just remember, the initial implementation is not all you need to consider when it comes to development costs. Magento requires feeding. Hey girl, you hungry? You can't just build it and walk away. Oh no, Magento being open source regularly needs updates and security patches. Magento has a new version release about once a quarter, but patches come quite regularly. You'll want to stay on top of them or you could be in for problems. We recommend merchants budget at least $1,000 a month on average for updates and security patches. These development and maintenance costs aren't really dependent upon which version of the platform you choose. When building custom functionality and patching, it's about the same to develop on Magento Open Source as it is on Magento Commerce. You might actually save money on Magento Commerce if your desired features leverage some of the commerce-only functionality. But what does that Magento Commerce functionality actually cost? Well, let's look at that license price. Inquiring minds want to know. I want to know. For Magento Open Source, there is no software license. It's free, although I think we've already established that it too is going to cost you money. Magento Commerce is licensed by some magical formula that they won't tell me, so I can't tell you. But it's based primarily on your e-commerce sales, and there's an upcharge for access to the B2B functionality if you need it. Based on licenses that our clients have been quoted, you can expect it to start around $30,000 a year if you're doing less than a million dollars in sales, but then it goes up from there. Just remember though, that life is a negotiation. They aren't gonna bend too much, but it's not unheard of for them to have some incentives in certain circumstances, such as the end of the quarter or Adobe's fiscal year because, well, salespeople have quotas to make. First prize is a Cadillac Eldorado. Second prize is a set of steak knives. Third prize is you're fired. Unless you ask for it, they're quoting you Magento Commerce Cloud and not on-prem. And you can get that license price a bit lower if you opt for the on-prem version, but it may not be cheaper overall because you're now having hosting costs to go along with it. Which brings us to our next cost center, and that's hosting. Hosting for Magento Open Source or Magento On-Prem is pretty much the same. I mean, it's really based on your traffic volume and site complexity, not so much the version of the platform that you choose. You can technically host this thing on a cheap GoDaddy plan, but that's not a good idea. No! Don't, don't. Email me if you need some recommendations. Realistically though, our clients are seeing hosting start at about $200 a month and going up to thousands of dollars per month, depending on their scale. And those are the costs you'll run into with the Magento build. If that doesn't scare you, then use the freaking link in the description and shoot me an email. Let's talk about building you a Magento site. But if those don't sound quite up your alley, you could use that same form and we could discuss all of your options. Up to you. If I missed anything cost-wise, then share it in the comments and let folks know about it. It's always a pleasure talking to you, but it's time for me to get back to my bourbon. My name is TJ Campbell and I'm the CEO and founder of Jamerson, where we help businesses like yours take those next steps in their e-commerce journey. If you're ready to improve your business and looking for help, go to jamerson.com forward slash go and I look forward to speaking with you. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.